So as technology continues to hyper-evolve, uh, what does the future of cyber, uh, um, cyber war space look like, and, and ultimately where is this leading us as a nation? As some final thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Um, currently, you hear the term cyber war, kinetic war, um, but really what we're, we're engaged in right now um, in multiple variations is a cyber kinetic meta war. Um, the weaponization of metadata, not that's scrubbed and sold, but metadata where there's a remote access trojan on a network at a major dragon surveillance um, capitalist organization, and they're exfiltrating that data, um, and they're targeting, you, you know, you could target critical infrastructure executives with elevated privileges, with spear phishing campaigns in the grid, uh, grid operators, or the health sector. Um, or DOD, whatever. Um, you could, you know, you can, I mean, uh, pr I, I would look at prototypical payloads moving forward with webcam, hot mic activator, key logger, multiple backdoors. Um, and then the interesting field of steganography, I don't think is going anywhere. I think it, they're going to weaponize it on different vectors, not just Twitter, not just hashtags, but they're going to get more sophisticated. Um, any technology that we come out with that is meaningful can also be weaponized. So even our offensive cyber programs, we have to be very careful um, because we don't want that technology to get into the wrong hands. Um, I think the, the future war space, the way that we're heading, will be a combination of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and autonomous technology which is a scary place to be if you're not ready. Um, that way, uh, we had Ron Ross here earlier. He's a good friend. Um, he, uh, he came out with, at NIST, he came out with SP800-160. We did an accompanying um, uh, SP800-160 for the rest of us, yep. which is like the Cliff Notes version if you don't want to read the 300-page doc. Um, Ron and I went on the hill together. We got a really good reception. So. Um, uh, Security by design is going to be a mandatory prerequisite, prerequisite to securing technology so that it can't be weaponized against us. Yeah, I think that one of the metaphors that I'd pick is the First World War. So we're seeing, you know, in the First World War you had, you had Napoleonic and Civil War era, you know, uh, infantry and cavalry tactics deployed against machine guns and tanks. You know, we could really see that in a, in, you know, in, with the cyber component of a kinetic warfare because you know, a lot of our doctrine for this stuff is five and 10 years old. It's based on network attack paradigms that are 10 years old. And it's gonna wind up being leveraged using existing technology, which is you know, far more widespread, far more, far more powerful, far more emergent than we've actually thought about. You could, I, I have bad feelings about this, what, could do, what this will do to sort of public infrastructure, civilian infrastructure, you know, for us as people. Because this is, we're, we're gonna be, I don't think we really know what the capabilities are because we haven't tested this stuff. We haven't been through this, you know, in a large scale. When we first do it on a large scale, it's going to be rough going. Yeah.